Today's podcast episode is presented by Podgo. Podgo is the easiest way for you to monetize your podcast, providing podcasters with a flat rate for ad space so you always know how much you get when you include an ad from Podgo. Apply today to become a member and immediately be connected with advertisers that fit your audience. That's podgo.co at P-O-D-G-O dot C-O. And be sure to add our podcast in the How Did You Hear About Podgo section of the application. It's showtime. Folks, welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans. Wait for it. For the fans. And I am your host, Conrad Cushman, joined tonight by my co-host. It's been a while. What, a week or two? Yeah. Since you've been on the show? Yeah. Joined by Derek tonight. What is going on, D? What up, what up, what up, what up? Folks, if this is your first time joining us, do me a favor. Make sure you hit the like button on the video. We're going to be going over everything AEW Dynamite. We have not covered AEW in, I would like to say, a month, maybe more. We have not covered any AEW Dynamite. So whoever says we're biased, cut it out. <laughs> Stop that line. We are not. Not we, that noise off. Um, got some good things coming down the pipeline for you guys. But hit that like button. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Do what you do best. And show us some love. But right now, we're going to start off with the intro, and we've got a lot to talk about with this show and catch up on a bunch of things. So, thank you for joining us. Let's get to that intro. All right. Busted, Derek, too. Gotcha. <laughs> to that show. Um, I wanted to thank everybody who was out there joining us. We're going to get to the live chat in a second, so make sure you guys are putting stuff in there. But I wanted to let you know on a professional note, tonight's show is sponsored by Manscaped. Uh, Manscaped is one of the best products if you are looking to take care of the family jewels. Uh, I know that your partner would love if you did it, and we would love if you used our promo code. So if you guys are looking for that lawnmower 4.0 or 3.0, make sure you put in our promo code EPW Show to save yourselves some money. Um, definitely works wonders. You can get yourself some boxers, ball deodorant, ball toner, whatever you need. Manscapes got you covered, but use the EPW promo code. We are definitely uh, glad to have them as a partner. And speaking of partners, we have to also talk about PowerSlam.tv. Uh, Power Slam Wrestling Network carries all of the latest and greatest in independent pro wrestling. These are our sponsors for the show, and I wanted to show them some love in the beginning of all this. So if you guys can relate or if you guys have tried out the services, please tell a friend. Use our promo code. We like giving stuff away for free. All right? So make sure you guys help out. Man, we've been gone what feels like for a, a little bit, right? Yeah, um... A lot of it's been due to the NBA playoffs. Yeah, and I've been loving the NBA playoffs too. Yeah, keep um, me keep me posted about that uh, the Western Conference game, folks. If you're in there, um, <laughs> what is going on? We've got a bunch of people in the chat here. Let's start off first with my man, Original Biggie. O B one. What is going on, Original Biggie? Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you, brother. 
Uh, we also have Ace in the house. Ace said, what's good, Chad? Conrad, Derek throwing the fist bump right back at you. Believe in the shield. <laughs> uh, Azan also in the house. Me and Azan have been talking back and forth on Twitter. Azan, I thank you, as always, my friend, for being in here. It was a great WWE Dynamite OJR. <laughs> I didn't even catch this, so you guys are going to have to tell me when he called it that because I did not even hear that. But I was tuning commentary out tonight. Derek was watching it with me. He knows. I was. I asked if JR was on the show halfway through. I'm like, I, that's how much I was not listening to commentary tonight. It felt a little unbearable at times. Too many people talking. Yeah. Uh, it, it seemed like it was like a whole slew of people just talking, like, constantly. My man BJ said, can't believe that JR called it WWE Dynamite. I could. Not, and that's no disrespect to JR. He talks about a lot of different companies on his podcast and stuff. Who knows what's on his mind, but... I, JR's just getting old, as on says. Yeah, honestly. I mean, he, he's got a lot of things that he's got on his plate, and then he's talking AEW. No Lara in the house. No Lara, thank you for joining us. I'm glad to see you in here from the beginning. I appreciate you being in here. Hope things are well. Well, well. BJ said it was right after the closing video package. Damn. That's rough. That's rough. And Queen of the Indies, my girl Tiff, is in the house. Yay, we are back. I appreciate you, Tip. If you guys like independent wrestling interviews, possibly people are going to be future talents in AEW. Tip is interviewing all of them. Uh, big shout out to the promotion H2O as well. She's been doing a lot of interviews for them. Appreciate you, Tip. Malik Murray is also in here. Bro, what is Jim Ross smoking? I did not say this. I am repeating what is on the screen. That is slander, good sir. We cannot say that. <laughs> uh, all Elite Podcast. How did I just lose it? There we go. Too many things. Who's excited for Kenny and Hangman at All Out? Dude, you know we are. Yo, We've been calling we deserve it. the credit. We called this a long time ago. Was it Moxley was the champ, I think, when we were calling this? Yeah. Like, Moxley was the champ at this time. Dude, super dope how this is all playing out. Big shout out to Kyle, too, from All Elite Podcast. Uh, one of the best in the graphics game. If you guys want to hear a different version of this, too, you guys, I'm giving a lot of free promotion. I need to be getting paid. I need a super chat or something up in here. Uh, I got to show some love to Kyle, though. Him and Tiffany do the All Elite podcast, and they hold it down every single week representing. So I got to show them love. And Tiff's giving me hearts. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm just repeating everything they said. Uh, you mean WWE WrestleMania? Dynamite, my original biggie. Cut it out. Uh, no Lara brings up Jungle Boy wins at life dating Anna J. Jungle Boy is a legend. Congrats to the happy couple. Some would say he's no longer Jungle Boy. Jungle he, Man. I respect it, D. I respect Jungle it. Man. BJ says, yep, Hangman is on his way. Oh, man. See, I, that would have that worked out perfectly, but I can't do it because of copyright infringement. Yeah. Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you were not getting copyright <laughs> struck. <laughs> Derek will not pay for the EPW bills. I will take the EPW company card from you. We cannot have that. Uh, did y'all watch the exclusive after Dynamite went off the air uh, last Saturday? Ace, what are you referring to? Let me know. Uh, I think that Adam Page is winning the belt, damn it. Yes, he is. That is the story right now. Jungle Man. See, Tiff knows. Tiff knows. Trust. Trust a woman's instincts. Trust and believe. Um, let's start getting into some of this, though. Uh, I'll wait to see if Ace can tell me what the exclusive was after Dynamite. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. Um, dude, first, I got to show some love to my boy Jesus De Leon. He's not in here right now. Jesus, you're slacking right now. Slacking. Oh, the Kingston promo. Yes, I saw that. I'm not against it. I'm not for it. It was what he did, bro. Like I, Wrestling fans. Shots are going to be taken back and forth. You know who hypes all this shit up? Us. We do. Like, you don't need to go in there and, oh, he shouldn't have said that. He should have. I mean, if Bully Ray wants to say something cool, Bully has his opinion. Eddie has his opinion. We have our opinions. That's what this is about. It's about opinion. Someone probably thinks mine sucks. Good for you. Other people like my opinions. Great. We're here to talk wrestling. Hey, hey, Susan, I just said what up. I got to give Jesus his props. He brought to my attention Sanjay Dutt left WWE, and the rumor is I didn't see it from any reliable sources that I trust, but Jesus brought it to my attention. I looked it up. 
Rumor is Sanjay Dutt has signed with AEW. I don't know if that's as a backstage producer or what, but the plot thickens. <laughs> um, <laughs> BJ said, if he's Jungle Man, why would he come out to Jungle Love? Oh, we, oh, we, oh, my Jungle Love. 15 bucks. Let, uh, let me stop. Let me stop. Uh, Jesus said, also, more shots. AEW, please and thank you. Same with WWE, any other company, more shots. Some people like it, like Jesus just put up there. I mean, I don't care either way. I like how Cody is not on the show every week. He is taking a break. He deserves it because he does not need to be on the show every week. I don't think any wrestler needs to. No. no they, they, they all need to back off every once in a while. I'm so glad Kyle's in the chat. Look at rumor is producer. Kyle's probably talking to his inside sources. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Kyle. Um, let's get into this, uh, Derek. Chris Jericho's on commentary tonight. We mentioned it before. Four man booth, a little too much. Way too much. Way too damn much. Um, hard to hear. It's really hard to hear. BJ, if that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, oh, my jungle love. Let me stop. I'll do that whole entire movie, bro. Love it. Six said, What's up, sick? Thank you for joining us, my friend. Thank you. Appreciate you. Um, let's talk first match. We had Eddie Kingston and Pentagon with Alex Abrahantes versus the Young Bucks with Brandon Cutler. What was up with the porn stashes tonight with the Super Elite? What is good with the, the this has to be a bit coming on BTE. It I, has to be. I wish I could play my, my sound bite for it, but I can't. That'd be more copyright infringement. So I can't get in that territory. Dude, yeah, we're, we'll definitely be cooked if you do that. So don't. I don't need Pornhub coming after me. Well, now you know what he was going to play. <laughs> but whatever. So they come out. They're all rocking these weird, creepy mustaches. It was like this match was sponsored by Ron Jeremy. That's all I could think of throughout this. Um, and it, this was really something different tonight. Something nice. different. Uh I don't know, man. The Young Bucks are great at being heels. I never heard so many people in my house getting pissed at them. And they're just like, what are they doing? Derek got me. He was like, yo, you heard the Young Bucks are getting new music? I'm like, they are. And then he played that song we just referred to. I hope no kids are listening to this. <laughs> if, if there's children listening to this, do not look up any of the stuff we're talking about with Ron Jeremy or any of that stuff. But you hear the, the song, and I was like, Derek, cut it off right now. I was done with him for the evening. Like, what, what are you doing, bro? Hey, I had to. It was the perfect moment. And let's see here. <laughs> uh, Chris DeZuba has joined us. What's going on, Chris? Throwing up the Derek order sign. Uh, Sanjay just left less than two weeks ago from uh, what I've read. Yep. Nick looks terrible with uh, different hair color all over. Tiff, you're going to have to let him know when you go to the next show. <laughs> Midlife crisis. <laughs> Uh, we also have uh, Jocelyn in the house. Thank you, Jocelyn. She is on Twitch. We are live streaming on there too. If you're watching on there, give us a give us a subscribe. And we play video games on the Twitch channel as well. Uh, Chris Zuba said WWE Dynamite is was still poop. Come on, Chris. Come on. Um, so let's get into this though. Young Bucks. Um, they had some insane tag moves in this. Yo, Young Bucks were on point tonight. Like. Rock and Roll Express rockers with the drop kicks, same time they're hitting it. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, I loved it. I love what they did. Can't go wrong. Whenever, whenever the Young Bucks come out and wrestle, it, you, you know it's going to be a good show from them. And they never let us down. At least they never let me down. I haven't really saw a time where they didn't come out and perform like they normally would or go beyond that. Never seen them fall short. If there ever has been one time that they fell short, please let me know so I could correct myself. But I'm just referring to sometimes when you see like double team moves, they're not exactly in sync. Right. These dudes were like perfect. That's tonight. what I'm saying. Like I, I've yet to see a tag team that's really in sync like they are. Right. And I want to give Chris Dezuba some props. We're talking about AEW in the chat here, and he said I tried to give it another chance. It's not for me, Chris. I respect that you even said that. Some people go online and complain or do some hater stuff to it. I'm just glad you're in here supporting us. I don't know if you're just in here because it's me. If you are, thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Maybe if you want to let me catch you up on Dynamite, come on into the stream, and I'll catch you up on it in less time than the show is. Right. Uh, Azan says hello to him. 
Six talking about Britt Baker getting put through a table. We will get to that momentarily. Uh, Queen of the Indies said, I'm going to have to <laughs> talk to Nick, I think, about that. And shout out to Queen of the Indies. She got me uh, to get this new camera piece, so that way I'm a little more uh, – how should I put this? Uh, it was resting on top, and it wasn't looking good before, so you can thank her for the upgrade in equipment. Um, yeah. yeah. So back to this match, though. Uh, Pentagon gets the hot take. Pentagon was on fire, too, bro. I don't know who pissed him off this week in, like, wrestling headlines. The dude was accused, like, of, uh, oh, you're not a good wrestler if you do all this stuff. And he said, you know why people get mad at me for what I do? He was like, because they can't do it because I'm the best at what I do. And I was just like, yo, respect, bro. Oh, 100%. Stop hating. It was respect, man. Penta came in, and he crushed it in this match um, with the hot tag. Let's get to the finish because this shit – had me laughing, bro. So during the finish, Gallows and Anderson come out. They were not the funny part. So they come out and they're Why coming down to the ring. Gallows is kind of funny. Is it the tan? <laughs> the beard? Peace, bro. <laughs> Inappropriate stuff on the show. I didn't do anything. Not, not going to fly, Derek. I didn't do anything. We had a nice week off. I didn't do anything. Coming back rare and informed. Brandon Cutler gets on the ropes. And you know the cold spray they spray every week. Yeah. Brandon Cutler accidentally sprays Matt Jackson in the face. Let me say this. He's so freaked out that he's like, ah, ah, ah. Bro. Who keeps Bro. spraying like that? He just kept spraying like the entire time. And I'm like, why in the bluest of blue hells would you do that? Oh, man. Dude, so freaking funny, man. I, I just couldn't stop laughing at it. But you know what, though? Like, like he just stood there like ah ah what am I doing? His head's down at that point. So you get some comedy with it, and then he gets knocked off the apron. Kazarian took Brandon Cutler's oh head off his shoulders with a clothesline. That was the best windup since JBL that I've seen for a clothesline, bro. Good shit, Kazarian. Yes. Um. Eventually, we get the package pile driver that happens into the spinning back fist. Nick Jackson's out. Matt Jackson's out. One, two, three. Kingston and Pentagon get the win. And this was a tag eliminator match. And they were able to earn themselves a future tag team title shot with this. I liked it. I had fun with it. I'm good with it. Um, Rob wants us to acknowledge him in this. <laughs> the head of the table of EPW. <laughs> you can put that in your name, Rob. Yes. Thank me for the assembly. Yes, I will thank him. I had to leave at the time. And Rob was like, I'll just put it together. Even though we still have pieces that don't go together with anything. <laughs> like, I don't understand how they – and they came with no directions either, how to put it together. Of course not. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> oh, okay, from Amazon? Of course. Oh, yeah, you definitely not get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tiff said we got to stick together 100%, man. I love my wrestling community. Uh, big LG catching too many kizzies. <laughs> Stop it. Stop blaming the man, Obi-Wan says. Uh, let's see. I got a question for you. Which is the better uh, young buck, ROH or AEW bucks? I'm going to let Derek take that because he's seen uh, the bucks in ROH live. Um, that was one of his favorite times. See ya! Yeah, I, I actually have to go with ROH at this at this time. That's just because they were younger. They could do more crazy stuff. Yes. Well, wait till we go. Once we go live in September. Yeah, yeah but, but you know what? It, it'll probably be better when, once we go live. Oh, Young Bucks lost their first tag team match in over a year, A says. Thank you. Nice. Chad, what is going on? Thank you for joining us, my friend. What up? What up? Come on in. Talk some AEW with us. Uh, let's keep this moving, though, because I'm trying to cut these shows down a little bit here in length and time for you guys. Um, so we just went over the tag team match, which I thought was amazing. Pentagon, Kingston, they did some good stuff in there in the Bucks. Look how ridiculous they look in, the, in these outfits on the screen here. What the hell is this? I love it, man. They they are so much better as heels. So yes. much better. We go backstage. Christian and Jungle Boy are backstage with Jurassic Express. Very weird that uh, all of a sudden Luchasaurus showed up. My, my intern absolutely loved when Luchasaurus came out. He was like, what? <laughs> he was like, yes, yes, I like this. Big fan of the dinosaurs, apparently. Dinosaurs? <laughs> and we talk about my we talk about my intern on here. So they they go into it and um it, it's weird. Chris is buddying up a lot with Jungle Boy. I have a fear that he might turn. I don't know. I would like that. It could happen. I would like that. 
Hey, go, go ahead. Get, get your match. Get your match. Now I'm going to interfere and take you out so you don't have the belt. <laughs> right? Um, so we, we see the big lead up to that, and it's announced Jungle Boy and Jack Evans will be next. But then we get an interview with all ego Ethan Page. Ethan Page is talking about this coffin match that he has challenged Darby Allen to. Well, I'm in a coffin. So, you know, already we get a video package with Sting and Darby. The whole shindig's up there. It's dad. We see the goddamn uh, shaved ice. The shaved ice is coming out the machine, <laughs> and Sting is dragging what appears to be a coffin behind him. He opens it up, Derek. What's in the coffin? It's son. <laughs> Darby Allen. And you said he had nails on or something? Yeah, so he had like, um, uh, like the like the fake um, fake nails. Yeah, I don't like fake nails. Like you know, like this Freddy Cougar. <laughs> I, I like that. If, if, if it was like that, then Ethan Page would be done for. That'd, that'd be it. Put him in the coffin after that. Uh, but no, you remember like those fake nails that they always used to sell at like uh, the dollar store or whatever. So he had those like they were painted black, and like he was digging out Ethan Page's eyes, and basically Ethan Page was like, no. That's it. We're not having this match. We're not having it. Unless if you sign a contract where you cannot touch me. And he basically puts off the match until Fighter Fest, I believe. So I guess Darby's just going to have to not touch Ethan Page. I'm sure he'll be provoked. I have to give a shout out to Ricky who has joined us. Uh, you... Got me. So I was not expecting that. Ricky, thank you for joining us. If you listen to the podcast, like all the previous ones, you will understand the Ricky Spanish joke from American Dad. Uh, thank you for joining us, Ricky. I appreciate you. Um, Definitely appreciate it. Yeah, feel free to put your thoughts in the comments, Ricky. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, Azan says, I'm tired of all these damn stables. I'm liking the uh, Hardy family office. See, you can't hate on them. You can't hate on them. Why wasn't Matt Hardy wearing his do rag that he got from Private Party? I'm offended. Oh, yeah. yeah, he should have wore that. Put the Dewey on, Matt. I want to see it. The silk Dewey. <laughs> uh, BJ said, "I like that Christian is seemingly mentoring uh, Jungle Man." Oh, yo, oh, yo. Oh. But I wonder how it all turns out. Me too. Uh, Ethan Page acting a little bit uh, like MJF too much for me. Chad, I can see, I can see that. Chad's bringing up his thoughts on the main event here. Uh, that was a piss poor coffin. Doesn't even have a lid. That would have that wouldn't have sealed a zombie. <laughs> Lee, <Very true. laughs> Lee press on nails. Yes, yeah. Zuba said. <laughs> uh, that Spanish from out of nowhere, right? What's going on, Tokyo WWE Dynamite? Everybody's saying it. <laughs> and Chad just hurt my feelings, saying the Suns are beating the Clippers. I want either one of those teams to win this. I think overall in the end. I'm telling you. The Clippers lose. I do not want to hear anything about playoff P ever again. Malik Murray seems to be on the same boat too. With Chris is going to turn on Jungle Boy. Jungle it, Man. It'll be very interesting. Yeah, he's Jungle Man for tonight, man. Because <laughs> that guy, he's he's on top of the world right now. Jungle Boy versus Jack Evans. We see some highlights between the match with Kenny Omega. It was an amazing match from Saturday Night Dynamite. If you guys didn't check it out, I would encourage you to. Um, a lot of the other dynamites, I'm kind of glad we didn't review Derek real quick because I think I would have gave two thumbs down in all of those dynamites. I was not a fan of some of the shows. But but you know what though, I, I want to say they strategically did that because it's it's more so like well you know what people probably aren't even going to be wanting to watch this anyway. Yeah, their viewership was almost cut in half for for a little bit there. Yeah, because no, they already knew no no one wanted to see Friday night. They they most people most people are out enjoying themselves from the work week. Not a lot of people are going to be home Friday night at 10 o'clock wanting to watch wrestling. Us? Yes. That's us. We don't we don't go out and party all like that like we used to. We're, just, we're pretty much done with that. Yo, chill with the used to. <laughs> <laughs> chill. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see Roman Reigns on AEW. SmackDown, everyone's having fun with this. Uh, 50 and 0. Uh, this was Jungle Boy's 50th opportunity to get a victory here so five oh i don't know if he has the most matches i'd have to look that up um sick nobody <laughs> jr 
you know, this match reminds me of Hickory Smoke Sam face Timber Jim Jack Jim in a wood pallet match in 1978. Y'all leave JR alone. Let that man share his wisdom. Um, Jungle Boy ends up getting the victory in this matchup here. Uh, I thought it was a nice match. Jack Evans is a great performer. He knew how to make Jungle Boy look good in this, and he did that perfectly. Uh, drop kick off the tie rope leads to the snare trap. Jack Evans has nowhere to go. Got to tap. Got to tap. Who comes out following after HFO, the Hardy family office? They are out there to put the beat down on Jungle Boy. But wait. But wait. There's more. They get interrupted by Christian and the Jurassic Express. A fight breaks out, a brawl, and uh, this feud intensifies is what I have put down here. So we're going to see some more of this. I like that Matt Hardy and Christian are having a feud. I'm glad that it's not like the long-term feud for the pay-per-view. At least I hope not. I think that these two can just have themselves a great dynamite matchup here and keep it moving. But we love the Hardy boys and the Edge and Christian feuds back in the day. Oh, those were <clears throat> Right, I see some people saying Jungle Boy needs to be the champ right now. Uh, Chad said that. Azan says, I see Jungle Boy beating Miro. I could see it too. Yeah, I could see that. They showed you what Rampage is going to be after week four during these Friday Night Dynamites. I think it could be moved to Saturday too with uh, with stuff. Want good clippers to make your junk as smooth as Conrad's head get Manscaped Law or 4.0. Thank you, Chris, for your plugs. We <laughs> plugged it right at the beginning and Chris comes in. Never disappoints. VJ said JR might have to take a paycheck from the wrong cons this week. Okay, I'm done with those. Oh, my goodness. You guys are on fire tonight. On fire. I love it, man. I've missed being in here with you guys like yes. dead ass. Uh, you know what? Knowing that we were back on Wednesdays, I was super hyped. It just feels right, you know? It, it feels right. So MJF cuts a promo. Cool. Next week, uh, Andrade will be taking on Matt Seidel, we find out, at Road Rager. So we're back on the road. It's Miami, Florida next week. Going to be chilling. Road Rager took place of Bash at the Beach. Remember, they traded that name to get the Cody Rhodes name back. What? Road Rager? Well, you got beef with that name? What's your problem? I got all kinds of beef with that name. <laughs> Bro, listen, it works, man. Just trust me. They, they had to put a new name in there. It'll be fine. It's Miami, bro. Fast and the Furious is out. You leave it up to Miami, bro. Miami can't get right. Sorry. Derek just doesn't like Florida. <laughs> he's, he's just a hater. Kenny Omega comes out. Oh, Remember when we were talking about the mustaches with the bucks? Kenny Omega comes out with these damn handlebars, bro. <laughs> handlebars. Like, I didn't. What what was this dude doing, bro? Bro, you can't you can't come out with the handlebars like that. Like he had the triple H06. Like, look. Oh my god, yo, that, that looks horrible when Triple H had it. I don't know. Kenny thought he was looking cool tonight. He looked straight out of the 70s. Uh did you who compared him to somebody downstairs and we were all laughing? Was it you? Who did you say? Vic from my uh, oh from Ephesus from family. <laughs> there he is, Kenny Omega. <laughs> um, Kenny Omega comes out though. He starts saying, "There's no challengers for me." If you guys don't know, Kenny Omega is working through a lot of injuries right now. Supposedly, like torn labrum, like he is just in pain. So when you see all the cupping and stuff on his back, he's talking about early retirement right now. From how he's feeling, I think it's time for Kenny to get a rest. And I feel like they may have sped up this moment that we have. But this is like a big moment throughout all of this. Kenny Omega is then interrupted by Evil Uno and the Dark Order. I'm, I like it, man. I like the fact that Hangman Page saw the visual of you watch BTE of the championship coming to him when uh, your boy Ten spilled his powder all over and everybody was freaking out. And that was Hangman's visual, the AEW championship. And I think they're starting to build towards this, Derek. Yep. The beginning of the end, the thing that yeah. you've been talking about oh, since I the beginning. Yeah. I I am not mad at it, man. Like this setup was really well done. They come out and they're basically advocating because they're like Kenny o Kenny Omega. You do have a challenger. It's Adam Hangman Page. He's got the most wins. He's the number one ranked competitor right now in AEW. And Kenny kind of says, "Well, he knows him because that's his former tag partner, former tag team champions." And he says, "Bro, no way." No way would he want you guys out here talking for him. And he doesn't have the guts to come out here and challenge me, to face me. 
And I was like, whoa, he doesn't have the guts to face him. The uh, testicular fortitude. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, who used to see it? Mick Foley. Yes. <laughs> Just wow. Wow. So the build has begun. The friendship between Omega and Paige is probably over. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this. I'm interested. I'm here for the ride. The, the roller coaster is about to begin. I'm strapped in. I'm like, let's go. Start it. And we just felt the, the movement out. Wait till we get to the – and then the drop, bro. Is it happening at all out to you? Is it time? Like, do you do this now? He's the number one contender. Yeah, you have to because if, Kenny, if Kenny's dealing with that many injuries, you don't want to cripple the man. So let, let's get it done and over with. Now, nah, I mean, I, honestly, I, I feel like we – We've already had that um, that long awaited delay time for this to happen. So you know, having it sped up just a little, just a little bit, just to get it out of the way, so that we can give Kenny a rest. Right. Someone in the uh, Facebook group, go check it out. Link tree down below. Uh, in the Everything Pro Wrestling Facebook group, asked me today, like, "Yo, what do you think about uh, when is Hangman and Kenny finally going to happen?" And I said, "I would wait till full gear, but I don't think they're going to." I think they're like, yeah, let's get this. But Kenny Omega is the champion for Impact Wrestling. He's got the TNA title. He's got the AAA title. And he's got the AEW title. So my only issue with it would be you can't let him lose the AEW title first. It has to be the other ones first. Slammiversary is coming up. So we'll see what's going to happen with that. Um, we also get Brian Pillman Jr. gets some mic time. He gets to cut a promo on Miro about what he did to uh, Griff Garrison. I like it. Pillman Jr.'s got something in him, man. Straight leg Garrison. Yeah, we're gonna have to see what he what he does here. But he cut a decent promo. Had a nasty uh, oh, yeah. red mark in his eye too. Ugh. Yeah. Um, Chad says AW needs to sign Lana to be with her husband Miro. You know what? I wouldn't even be mad at that. I think she'd be all right to manage a role, maybe. Maybe, if they wanted to do that. Shabazz says there is no way Jungle Boy is beating Miro. Uh, Miro takes Miro down a notch. Maybe. Someone's got to beat him. Eventually, he's got to lose. JR always gets a pass from me. Chris Matthews has joined us. What's going on, Chris? Thank you so much for coming in here. Road Ranger is going to be stacked next week, and I agree with Chris 100%. And uh, hope things are well, brother. Uh, All Elite Podcast, Kyle, I believe, says Thea is coming soon. Andrade is going to carry the surprise all summer till all out. I would love to see Thea Trinidad come in. I think it's time. I would also like to see her husband come in. I'm leaving that there. <laughs> Road Ranger uh, doesn't work well with the Bucks' new facial hair. Some, we got to cut that off, man. We got to. Uh, it'll take Miro down a notch, she's still saying, Shabazz. Azan says, it sounds like they're going to get drunk on the road with that name. I agree with Derek. Florida and the Bronx needs to be turned into their own countries. <laughs> See? Told you, bro. We can't do that. Why not? B-Boy Skyline in the building. Thank you. Appreciate oh, you joining, Jordan. Bullshit. <laughs> A.W. should sign uh, UFC fighter Pearl Gonzalez. She's Ooh. a beast. Yeah, I like Pearl Gonzalez. Pearl Gonzalez would be nice. I'm a fan. B-Boy Skyline says, Layers. AEW needs Chelsea Green. I don't know. Chelsea Green had the opportunity to go there, and she kind of blew them off for WWE to be with Matt Cardona. I don't know how Tony's feeling about that. Maybe maybe she'll wind up there. I think we see her in Impact first, though. Uh, Kenny needs lots of time off for sure. He's hurt and probably burned out. He's carrying multiple wrestling companies on his back. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and he has met. Yes. Sick, you put that so uh, eloquently. Elegant. Cool. Elegant. Yeah. Poetic. I like that. Very cool. Uh, make it all out and have Hangman take over the elite over this or take out the elite over the summer. Ooh, perhaps. Yes. They may make it even ground. Who is Griff Garrison? Uh, laugh out loud. Oh, so you've heard what I heard. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I We may have some of the same sources, Kyle. Wink face. Wink face. Yes, sir. You probably got more, though. <laughs> See, I'm sure respect. Uh, TNT Championship. Brian Pillman Jr. versus Miro here. Uh, Pillman put up a good fight in this one. He did some great things. Yo, he did a drop kick through the ropes. I thought the man was done. Like, he, he flew floated. through the ropes. He floated. It yeah. Like he floated. I was just like, damn, bro, you drop kicked air and hit Miro. <laughs> like, what happened? 
So that happens, but eventually he gets put in the game over the accolade, the Cobra Clutch, uh, or not, excuse me, not the Cobra Clutch, the Camel Clutch. Break back, make humble. I won't say the other part that Sheik says, but he taps out. We know this. Miro is keeping that TNT championship. And I'm, I like Miro as the TNT champion a little bit. It's pretty dope. I, I say Miro holds on to that for a good amount of time. Look at Sid came and said, I have my moments and put on the uh, the penguin. The, the uh, What is that oh, thing? The, uh, the monocle. The monocle. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Pillman is smooth in the ring, Chris Zuba said. Yes, he is. I've seen that since the MLW days. Chad, Kyron, and Derek, I wouldn't mind seeing Ruby in AEW if she doesn't get signed by Impact. Ruby would fit. Ruby changed her name to Ruby Soho now, too, by the way. So be on the lookout. Um, yeah, I would like Ruby. To, I think she to, would fit. She could fit in either company. I think she'd be a great hand. Whoever gets her, you're lucky. Yes. Ruby Ruby, Ruby Soho can actually wrestle. I like that you corrected yourself. I'm I proud. I'm proud of you. No disrespect. I'm proud of you. Um, so, yeah, after this, though, Adam Page goes backstage, and he's getting into it with the Dark Order, just like Kenny said. What are you guys doing? And the Dark Order, like, cut him off. They're like, no, bro, you are the number one contender. You need to believe in yourself. Stop sulking. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. And they said, we believe in you, and we got your back. And I like it. It was kind of that nice brotherhood moment, and it was a good thing. And Page kind of started to believe in himself. Gotta see where this goes. This is a lot of gotta see where this goes this week. Backstage, we see Taz with his son and his other son beside him. Uh, Hook and uh, Will Hobbs. Will Hobbs was the best spine buster last week. Chef's kiss. Just money. He did that beautifully. I had to retweet it. It looked so good this week, like multiple times. <laughs> um, so we get into this whole thing. FTW sounds like it's going to implode. There's going to be a match. I couldn't really hear it because the intern was not happy at that moment. Uh, I don't know if it's Will Hobbs versus Brian Cage or Ricky Starks, but it sounds like FTW is about to implode. I think it's Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks' neck is injured, so it can't be him. He, he mentioned Ricky Starks. I, I, uh. I don't know, man. Uh, let's see. Maybe Kenny made Hangman cost the Bucks that match last year. Ah, layers. Uh, Chris Matthews says it's Cage versus Starks. Okay. Holy shit. I, I cannot believe that this match is happening. For the FTW Championship, maybe this is where Team Taz turns on Cage. Cage has been mugging up things for them. I'm not going to lie. Right. We'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty sure Cage is going babyface, though, and he's getting the boot out of there. Uh, I, I, think he, I think it'll be a full-fledged babyface. Because I, I, I feel like he was, he was turning babyface a long, long time ago. Yeah, he's been getting cheered for, I would say, a pay-per-view or two now at this yeah, point. Yeah. So for the last few months. Uh, next up, we have a women's tag match. Nyla Rose and Vicky Guerrero, the match Vicky asked for, versus Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, and Rebel. First off, I hope Rebel's okay because yes. Rebel definitely looked like she turned the wrong way or something happened to her. And I uh, felt terrible for her in this. It, it looked like she kind of like she collapsed a little bit after she hit, uh, you know, broke up the, uh, the pinfall. And like her back just kind of like shifted, maybe shifted the wrong way. Yeah. So I, I want to say she probably caught not like a not like a cramp. Listen, but. listen. I'm gonna show you guys something that you may not have seen. See this behind me? I've got back pain too, and I don't wish that shit on nobody. Not even my worst enemy. Like I get it. That shit hurts. And she looked like she could not move. And hopefully, medical staff was over there checking on her. But this just I don't know. This match was not flowing the greatest either. And that's probably because Rebel and Vicky don't perform every single week in there. Um, but what we saw with Nyla and Britt, I liked. I thought it was good. Um, we, we just we got our spots in on this. There was a table set up on the outside. During the finish, it looks like Vicky's going to set up to go for her splash off the top rope. And that is stopped because it's Dr. Britt Baker. And she obviously sees this. Knocks Nyla off the apron. And Vicky Guerrero gets put into the lockjaw. Nowhere to go but to tap out. And Dr. Britt Baker, the woman who drills grills, DMD, gets the victory here. <laughs> uh, after the match, though, Nyla Rose, she ain't playing that shit. Grabs her, power bombs her ass through the table. It looked brutal, but. Yeah. And you know what? That was probably one of the smoothest power bombs in a long time. Through a table. Let's let, let's get to some of these comments real quick here. BJ said, "Just want to say this before it gets to the end and wrapping up the show. Working behind the scenes to have a new show for RTR 
Okay, run the ropes. I respect it, BJ. Once my final pieces are here, I'd love to have you guys on as a guest. Let me know, BJ. Let me know. You know I'm always down. If I could work it out, I shall. My schedule has been hectic lately, though. Uh, Conrad, AEW needs to hire you and Derek. I say for managers who design for women's wrestler side. Just saying. Chad, we can all wish. Send Tony Khan uh, the, the DM. He can contact me. I'm always open. Uh, Azan said that this was a mess to him. Vicky took some shots at the beginning. She did. Yeah, she did. Uh, this was unsafe. That was unsafe to me. Perhaps. I don't it know. It, it looked unsafe. BJ says he's been uh, nursing a small back injury. I wish you complete health, good sir, and that it ends. The weekend, and it sucks from the weekend. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Rebel is very entertaining. I think many would agree with you. Love her with Britt Baker. Rebel is probably going to turn on Britt sometimes. Vicky Guerrero needs to learn how to wrestle. Maybe have Jade. I don't think we're going to see Vicky in the ring too often, though. No, nah, it, it, Vicky's just she's up there, so there, there's just no spot for her. Shabazz wasn't feeling this match either. He says, "Waste of time match." Sad to say, I think it's going to enhance the feud. I think this is going to go to what we needed to: Nyla versus Doctor Britt Baker. So I hope they have a safe match with each other. And that no one else is hurt or anything happens in it. Because I feel bad for Rebel. Like, seriously. Just that sucked. Um, let's go over next week's uh, card for it. So, if you guys are just catching up, we just went through the tag match here with the AEW Women's Champ, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. And before that, we were also talking about Miro versus Brian Pillman Jr. I appreciate you guys. Let's talk about next week, though, for Road Rager. We've got some matches lined up. We have the AEW tag title match, Young Bucks versus Kingston and Pentagon. We have Cody Rhodes versus QT Marshall in a Derek-endorsed South Beach strap match. Big fan. Uh, Andrade El Idolo will be making his debut against Matt Seidel. Perfect person to make your debut against. I love it. Uh, we have a six-man tag match, Santana and Ortiz with Jake Hager versus Wardlow and FTR with Tully Blanchard. Conan will be in the corner of Santana and Ortiz, Tully with FTR. This is going to be off the hook. Can we please have Conan and Tully go at it a little bit? I need it. Bro, did you see that last week when they were talking to each other, the line? Yo, if you don't know, Tully Blanchard's daughter dates Daga, and Conan had the line of the night when he said, you better learn to speak Spanish one day because your grandchildren are going to be speaking it to you. And I was like, oh, K-Dog had me out of my seat for that one. That was some good shit. That was some good shit. I loved it, man. I loved it. Uh, <laughs> Chris Super said they were censored Derek. You damn right he would. Tony, come on. We got to talk, brother. Uh, I, might, I might change up the act for that. Bro. I would, you better for that money. <laughs> I would, too. Hello. How you doing? Catch me on the late night AEW show. <laughs> Rampage. Uh, Alexa Bliss needs uh, to turn Nikki Cross back into the demon Nikki. I don't think we're going to see that soon. No. Uh, I hope Britt versus Nyla is the first Rampage in Britsburg. I see what you did there, BJ. I see what you did there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got to get yourself one of those Raffle Burgers. <laughs> Conan shooting shots at Tessa. Uh, he says, what's going on, Eric? Thank you for joining us. Uh, K Dog will be in the house. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And yeah, I know you're just kidding about the uh, Conan stuff. That's fine. I thought it was a great line though. Like it really had me hyped into this. Um, oh, for more matches though, uh, Chris Jericho will face off with MJF and Orange Cassidy and Chris Statlander take on the Blade and the Bunny. Bring Butcher back, man. I'm missing that dude right now. Is he injured? Yeah, he was. He was out for a little bit. Um. Shabazz says the Cody QT Nightmare Factory is boring at this point. Lost his way after Cody a go go. Yeah, a little bit. I feel like Cody's just kind of in this like hold pattern until they got back. I want to see what happens with July. Like they're bringing a lot of shows back. We were talking about, bro, I'm hyped for the, the New York City shows coming back. And then they're coming to Buffalo area after that, Rochester, technically. I can't wait. We're going to that show. Uh, Derek, this dude was like, Y'all trying to go to the New York City show, too? <laughs> Derek trying to go to the tennis stadium. I'm like, bro, chill out with the money, bro. <laughs> Derek trying to take a couple weeks off, trying to get us all suspended. And stuff. Yeah, Sick leave restriction. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, trying to get time off. Off. Vacation time. <laughs> Let's talk about this main event, shall we? And then we'll get you guys on out of here. 
Uh, the main event tonight was MJF representing the Pinnacle versus Sammy Guevara. Spanish God. Representing the inner circle tonight. Uh, this matchup is with two of the top rising stars in AEW. We've been saying this since the beginning. Yes. Sammy opening match with Cody Rhodes. MJF was playing the part of being Cody Rhodes' best friend. These guys have been groomed for greatness, in my opinion. Yes. Um, uh, dare I say that this would be Stone Cold and The Rock esque, like as far as you know, like stat, like coming up in status. Okay, so you're talking like. Rocky My V or Nation Rock versus Stone yes. Cold as the Intercontinental Champ. Yes, I can see it. Yes. I can see it, just, bro. Just, just, just because of how they're being groomed to to basically take over the company. Because well, we, we all know Cody's going to take that step back. Well, we all know too that there've been the main players who were going to take this over: MJF, Sammy, Darby Allen, Jungle Boy. And I think that other spot, if you want to say Hangman Page, it's up for grabs. So there's a lot of people who could fill those roles. But these are the long-term guys that think they want to build and pay big money to eventually. Yes, because they they, they both speak well on the mic. They both know how to perform. Their, their charisma is through the roof. What more could you ask for? What more can I say? Oh, no, I can't do that either. <laughs> so the match starts off with the classic anything you can do, I can do better. A nice game of one-upsmanship. Rob, you are being acknowledged right now. <laughs> uh, a nice game of one-upsmanship. Uh, Sammy hits an amazing dive over the barricade. Like, bro, Derek said, I don't know how this man avoided hitting any chairs. He, I don't know how he did it, bro. Dude, the, the man, though, in, I, he landed between the chairs. The chairs didn't even move. Lovely, bro. Sam's complete body control. Sammy was on his shit tonight, and I'm so yes. happy for it, man. Um, Sammy hits a perfect dive onto the floor. Uh, so the match builds up. You see some good stuff here. Sammy hits the GTH. That's that reverse, like, GTS move. Down goes MJF. He pins him. We all think it's over. One, two, the momentum from his feet carry over, and his foot lands on the rope. Such a great spot. The, I remember when Rollins did it with Neville. Like, it was amazing, bro, when they did that on Raw. Because he hit that uh, the red arrow or whatever it was called in WWE. I think and he, red. Yeah, he pinned him for a near fall. Great, great, great stuff, man. Yes. Like, I loved it. I loved it. Um, afterwards, though, Sammy goes up to the top rope. He hit the 630, bro. The 630. MJ, we were like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is it. One, two. The closest near fall of the night, bro. The closest. Like, it was right there. I thought he had it, man. Yeah, they had me fooled. Definitely close. Definitely close. Uh, for sure, man. This this was some really good stuff here. I loved it. Wrestling. Wrestling. Uh, is Jericho MJF match going to happen? That looked really real. Uh, I have no idea, Shabazz. I think that's what they're building to, I would imagine. Oh. Uh, Chris Zuba said, I was liking the match a lot, but the ending completely ruined it for me. Okay. Okay. Um, Red Arrow, thank you, E, for reminding me of that. I appreciate it, Eric. Uh, Six says, am I the only one who feels AW tried to redo what Ricochet and Morrison did this past Monday with the jump? Uh, with the turnbuckle over the barricade spot. No, I think Tony Khan's like a real big fan of ECW, and I think he liked that RVD flip over. That's what it reminded me of when he did it to Bam Bam Bigelow in the uh, Burt Flickinger Center, Buffalo, New York. Y'all. Right? Yo, I forgot all about the Burt Flickinger Center. Right? <clears throat> I, haven't heard, I haven't heard that name in years. Since it, uh, ECW. Since we went to school there. <laughs> in college. Oh, my God. <coughs> Excuse me. Yo, see where, where you at? I'm at the Burt Flickinger Center. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, 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 damn. damn. Um, so he does the flip over. He gets a 630 for the near fall kick out. Here comes Sean Spears. Chris Jericho sees He's like, oh, I'm about to get that son of a bitch. Gets up from commentary. He's like, I'm about to get him. And during all this, it was a setup because Wardlow knew he was going to get up to do that, and Wardlow cuts him off. So they're battling on the hard camera side. So you can see everything that's happening. They're on like a little platform when I talk about that. And Sean Spears is hidden down on the ground with the steel chair in his hand. He's the chairman of the pinnacle. And Jericho and Wardlow are battling at it. Wardlow's, like, dropping him across the barricade. He don't give a shit. And 
He grabs the chair and he swings the chair across Chris Jericho, or excuse me, across Sammy Guevara's head. Boom, Sammy goes down. MJF steals the victory. One, two, three. The cheap win is to get the heel heat. I get it. We get it. And afterwards, Jericho from that moment was supposed to be thrown off of the, the ledge there where they were. And I think he was supposed to go through the table. I couldn't tell. At first, I didn't think it was that. I thought he was just supposed to get thrown off. But Rob says it looked like he was supposed to go through the table. I think Jericho's, like, legs gave out or something went wrong with this. He, he landed awkwardly. But I, I think the, I also believe the plan was for him to go through the table. But I don't think Wardlow really realized how far they were from the table. Because uh, you, you could tell, if you look at Chris Jericho, he rolls under the table. That wasn't supposed to happen. He did remind us the closest near fall was that Young Bucks match. Rick Knox fucked that up. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Yes. Uh, match of the night, Rockstar definitely. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. He's not a fan of Sean Spears either, apparently. I won't repeat that. Nah, AEW don't really be doing uh, that sick. I, I, I really think it's the ECW influence sometimes. Like when, when people say that, I'm always just like, well, in ECW, and I think that's just because I'm an old head and I remember that shit. So I'm always just like, oh, yeah, I remember in ECW they did that. Right. Kind of like when the lights go out, that's an ECW thing. I think Tony Khan always loved that. So that's why he has people debut like that sometimes. Uh, the only thing I didn't enjoy was – uh, the beginning of the night, one chair shot supposed to take out Sammy. Come on, son. I like that the chair shots mean something, though. We can't have the attitude there anymore. We're just bashing each other with them chairs over and over. We don't need no Stone Cold WrestleMania 17. He had to beat the shit out of the rock with that chair for people to believe it. Yes. I was like, enough. Hey, Zeus said match of the night for me. Agreed. Spear screwed Sammy because he doesn't like him. Uh, interference was the result of MJF's knee injury. Oh, man. Yeah. That's true. Uh, Conrad, Derek, Chris Jericho should have been down the ring when Sammy was winning. Plus, I had a feeling the pinnacle was going to come out and help MJF win. They're the bad guys. That's what they do. Yep. Spears did nothing wrong, Tokyo. Nothing wrong, <laughs> according to uh, Eric. But that was it, man. That was the uh, show. The pinnacle celebrate after the fact here. They get the victory. And we saw like kind of a nice tribute to uh, Daly's place because they've been there for weeks and weeks and weeks. And we had a lot of memories in there, man. Like, mm -hmm. we missed the first Dynamite show, and we've been following it ever since then. And before that, we hadn't missed any Dynamite reviews. So, like, if you ever want to go back and watch some of the very old ones we've done, they're up there. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad we're getting things back to normal again. Yes. Slowly but surely. Yeah. Um, uh, and you know what? It, it helps out for a lot of people because – Obviously, we had we had this scapegoat for us. A lot of people don't have that scapegoat for them. And so a lot of people are probably stressing, a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety going on. So now with everything opening up slowly but surely, this will be this will be big for a lot of people, and I think they'll appreciate the shows a lot more because they didn't have it for a year. <laughs> BJ said it was a great ending. The JR messed it up. WWE Dynamite. Uh, I, I definitely put bad English in here, and I corrected myself. What are your thoughts on the show, everybody? Let me know. Match of the night was Penna and Eddie versus Young Bucks. Also, Sammy and MJF. I, I'm going to give it to Sammy and MJF yeah. for uh, match of the night. Without a doubt. Best WWE show I've seen in a long time, JR. <laughs> Y'all talking crazy. Um, Derek, what did you think of the show tonight, though? Thumbs up, thumbs down? You know how we usually do. Um, I'd, I'd give it a thumbs up. Um, it, 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 it was way better than the other shows we were seeing on the weekends. Yes. Um, it by far not the best like it normally is, but better than what the Saturday shows were. You know, we're, we're trying to get back into swing of things. Right. Chris Zuba, thank you for joining us. If you can still hear me, appreciate you, fam. Uh, Malik says, I mean, I mean, you had to the, but you had to make Sammy look strong after he lost. MJF is still kind of undefeated for the most part. Yeah, man. The heels got to be built up. You got to have a reason to hate them sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was happy. Every, I'm seeing thumbs up from Ace. Hey, Zeus. E says, good, solid, good show. Solid. Can't wait to see how they are on tour. Yeah. I want to see them go to like England and stuff, man. We lost out on a lot of things with Fighter Fest last year. So I'm hoping England gets these big shows. I'm hoping that they just get some of the, like,
best dynamites going forward. And if you can get out there, uh, please do, man. Like, get out there. If you can do it safely and you feel like you're healthy enough to do it, get out there. And if you guys happen to see me at any of these shows, like, I don't know, if I happen to be in your city or we go to, like, one of the bigger ones to go away, come up to us, man. Say what's up. I'm so, I'm so serious. Like, send me a message on Twitter. I'll be like, yo, bro, I'm at this arena. Come slap me up, fam. Like, I want to meet some of you guys. So, listen, if, if we were, if we were at the pinnacle, no pun intended, of YouTube, uh, uh, we, we, we would still be the same normal, normal guys. We, 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 we don't let that shit get to our head. It's like, hey, come talk to us. We're, we're fans like you guys. Yeah. That's why the show is by the fans for the fans. Exactly. There is no like I'm a former wrestler and I know no, I'm a fan of 30 years. I've watched this a lot. I just enjoy it. And sometimes we get out here, we talk our shit, we talk crazy. But I respect what the wrestlers do in that damn ring. I respect you guys for coming in here. This show was a B plus. Uh I think it was a great way to come back to Wednesdays without throwing all the top people out at once. It shows how great and popular the lower roster is. Good point. Yeah. Sign, listen. That's a, that's a great note to end on, BJ. We're going to end this stream right now for you guys. Um, my parting words are going to be this. I'm happy that wrestling's back on the road and we're getting back out there for all companies. Um, check out the Insiders. They're doing a great stream tomorrow for Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling hater, bro. I should make him watch Slammiversary and he'll, he'll definitely change What is, what is this girl? Oh my god! Yeah, I think it's the same week as Money in the Bank. Oh, so I don't know if you got a game. I'll look it up after to see. But I, Money in the Bank sometime in July. I'm I'm looking forward to that show too. That's actually looking good. Mid July? Yeah, middle of July. I don't know though. We got I got a birthday party to plan too for uh, intern. Don't tell him no. And um, yeah, sign Fuego del Sol A W and. Tornado. <laughs> We're going to end the stream on that, man. Thank you guys so much for joining us here at Everything Pro Wrestling. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Tell a friend this week about the show. Our, our subscriber numbers have been going up actually a lot. So thank you guys so much. Keep showing love and support. Get yourselves a T-shirt. Do something to support EPW. We are out for myself and Derek throwing up the deuces and saying, Peace. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes. For the fans, uh, for the fans, uh. Not many in this can understand, uh. This the podcast to show you who I am, uh. Conrad Cushman, the legend in the plans, uh. Please listen every day to the showcase. The opinions and knowledge that anyone can take. Showing you how it is done. Proving I am number one. What a legend becomes. This is now my time to show you that I am here. Uh, this podcast just to make it loud and clear. Uh, by the fans. Uh, for the fans. Uh, not many who's here can understand. Everything pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast here for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinion and the lesson, yes. Everyday pro wrestling, they can never be you. Listen to the podcast for the people. The best show that's here, so listen in. Let the knowledge begin. The opinions, the lesson, yes.